very near and dear to me that's right in my backyard, in a lot of backyards of uh, my fellow Ashwaubenon residents. I have no problem with the concept. I'm not really sure of the science yet, but it certainly does not belong uh, where the Oneida tribe wants to place it. Uh, you have 70 plus percent of residential homes in that particular area. And we don't, again, I, I mentioned the science of it. We don't know, we don't have all the answers. Where's the byproduct, the ash go? Uh, will it do anything to our water system? Things of that nature. All there has been any uh, uh, agreement from the tribe was uh, in, in, in discussions with Schneider National, which is right across the street, where they moved the facility back 700 feet. It, it's not the right spot for it. And uh, ideally, it should be placed where the transfer station sits now, in my perspective. Thank you. Okay. Just repeat the question. Sure. What is your position on the gasification plan planned by the United Tribe for Pratt Land, and where would you want it constructed? Well, I agree with uh, Supervisor Moynihan. It's the fact that um, the location I, I would, if I'm successful as a Brown County Executive and also as a Brown County Supervisor currently, I will adamantly oppose that biomass location of Packers. Uh, there are too many unknowns, there are too many questions that have not been answered. Uh, these facilities, no one can seem to give us any history. No one can, can provide the permits yet. Uh, I, I know that they've been applied for. I do not know where the, the current, the, the, the proper location for this type of facility is. If it is at the transfer station within the boundaries of the village of Hobart, I also would like to see that study. I would like to see some more engineer studies of this whole process. I can't say that I'm against or for the process, but if the Oneida Tribe of Indians wants to continue to pursue that location on Packer land, I am adamantly against the location, and I would be adamantly against providing the fuel, which would be the trash from Brown County, to supply that type of a facility. We need more research on it. We also need more cooperation. We need the United Tribe and the local municipalities and the county to sit down and come up with the right location for this type of facility and to understand it a little better. Okay. Well, um, this this gasification plant, where it's now currently at its third site location, the first site was turned down because of a, a trust land issue. The second site was proposed in the the Oneida area, and that got turned down by the residents there, and then they finally proposed the third site, which was kind of run underneath the cover, in a business park of the village of Ashwaubenon. Now, being from the village of Ashwaubenon, and also my mother-in-law's uh, daycare is just about, uh, maybe about 100 to 200 yards north or south of this proposed gasification plant. Of course, it brings a lot of questions and raises the eyebrows of the residents along with the business people in that area. From what I've seen and what I've read, uh, there's interesting documentaries out there regarding gasification plants. More importantly, currently there is no science, there is not a single plant of this nature in the United States to date. And the ones that they are in Europe or in Japan, there's questions about whether or not they're still in business or they've been shut down. The problem is that we're going to be funding funding this with taxpayer dollars through the state. So the question about the gasification plant in the proposed site, I'm, a, I'm opposed to it. I do not like where it is. Where I think it might have a service is potentially the transfer site or ideally back where this first site was proposed originally. The, the question, the big question about the gasification is what do we do with our trash? We need to find a need, we need to find a solution to our growing need of landfills and as they're being reti retired. We, we also have to take into account what's going to happen with the Tri-County Agreement. So there's a lot of issues here, but based on the one question about the gasification plant and where it's currently located, I am against it. 
But we have to keep in mind that if the, if the, the tribe wants to put it there, they can put it 